All right, Woody, wrap it up. But, Potch, we still got another day here. Yeah? Well, forget it. The only act that could draw in this kind of weather would be Noah and his ark. Well, it's a big jump from here to San Leone. Yeah. All right, it's your show, Lil. It's your show. But I'm going to tell you one thing. In 24 hours, even these elephants are going to shrink. <laughs> well, you heard the man drop the top, wrap the gear, and let's haul her out. Mr. Sandy, you still owe me $50 for tomorrow night. Yeah, well, don't crown me, Bellas. I have you up in front. You told me Brian had a population of 30,000 people. 33,407. Yeah, well, when was that? Before or after the big flood? Look, I don't want to have to call a law on you. Hey, just get out of here fast. You see those lions over there? They haven't had meat for two days. All right, Bill Cliff. When you finish, blow the elephants as soon as you can, man. Oh, hey, boy, this weather. What? Listen to this motor. I can't do a thing with it. Oh, Woody, come on. Buy another one. We'll get the money or some way. I don't know how we'll do it. I don't shit. What's the matter with you? You want to get hurt? I have to go. Move. Oh, okay. All right. The police are going fast. Yeah, I know. We've got to move those. Just take care of it, will you? Having fun, Peter. Anytime anybody calls me Peter, I know it's bad news. Jen? Oh, Lord. Over here. Over here. Amazing. In your case, time didn't just stand still. It moved backwards. What are you doing here? I'll give it to you fast before you meet your daughter. My what? Your daughter. George and Ellen. You mean Ellen went ahead and got a divorce even though she knew she was pregnant? I don't believe that. Pride. You go on ahead and get this. Yeah, all right. Okay, all right, Ellen. Peter. Hmm? Ellen's dead. Car accident. Three months ago. That's a lot to give a guy in 15 seconds. Well, there isn't a lot of time for a lot of hollow sympathy. The fact is that Ellen designated you as the guardian. Guardian? Naturally, Harold and I have instigated a suit. There'll be papers for you to sign. Oh, give me a pen. When the child moves in with us, I want it to be her choice. I don't want her to fantasize about a life that could have been with some romantic image she might have of her father. Uh, tell her I hate kids and I'm totally irresponsible, right? Exactly, but I wanted to discover for herself. She has a week's vacation she's going to be spending it with you. Shall I call you father or dad? Or, or maybe your given name, sir. My name is Punch. My name is Jody. <laughs>
you're on a vacation, right? Between semester, for a week. I see. Well, uh, we're uh, leaving for uh, San Leone in about two minutes. You can come along with us, you know, if you want to. For a week. One week. I've never been to Southern California. We'll make up your mind, would you please? Well, I think I'd like to go with you. You do? Uh, you can fly home a week from Sunday. Or sooner. Good luck. For one week. some gum? No, thank you. It's a new flavor, you, you know. It's considered gauche. Oh. Although Che may offer a temporary gratification, it creates a bovine image. Bovine? Well, that's a very refined word, bovine. <laughs> You know, I like that, bovine. It certainly beats uh, saying uh, cow-like. Where'd you learn these sort of helpful hints? This Caldwell School in Gross Point. Yeah, well, what did they teach you there besides not acting cow-like? I take music lessons. Mm -hmm. That's good. And conversational French. Conversational French? Wow, that... That, that conversational French can come in very handy. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I also read. Uh, well, that's, yeah, that's uh... I've read every article in the Reader's Digest for the past 16 months. Don't you have any friends? Of course I have friends. Mitchie's my best friend. <laughs> You're a good driver. Well, I had a, a little practice, you know, a little experience. <laughs> of course, being a good driver yourself isn't always enough. Mother was a good driver, too. Uh... I'm kind of hungry. Why don't we stop and have something to eat, huh? Okay? Okay. Okay. There's a restaurant up ahead. Uh, no, I, there's one uh, about uh, two miles ahead. It's, you know, it's much better. I have a lot of luck there. Punch, Bobby! <laughs> don't punch you! Punch Travers! Mm. Boy, I'm glad to see you. Yeah. I had a hunch you were about due. You know, in ten minutes we would have closed and we would have missed seeing each other. Oh, no, wait a minute. You'd have missed selling a dozen steaks, nine New England boiled dinners, and in spite of what Mrs. Charney says, one locale chef salad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, there's no hurry, though. Gosh, they're about two hours behind me, so... Gee, you're really looking great, Punch. Yeah, so are you. <laughs> oh. Where uh, do we sit? Uh, yeah. Do you mind if we sit here, honey? Hmm. Huh? Okay, right over here. Huh? Who's the kid? <clears throat> it's my daughter. Oh, what a surprise. Surprise for all of us. What do you have? I'll have an order of plain yogurt and a slice of unbuttered whole wheat toast and a small glass of orange juice, please. Well, she's also a food freak. It's a matter of good nutrition. <coughs> yeah. Well, I'll have a sirloin steak and uh, two eggs over light and a couple order of hash browns and a coffee right away, okay? You never even told me you had a wife, let alone a kid. You never asked me. Charlie, we got two orders. We got two eggs over white, uh, hash browns, and a sirloin steak. And one yogurt. Now I know what you mean about having good luck here. <laughs>
darn it. Oh, well. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. That is fun. Well, I don't know whether it's important or not, but there's steam coming out of the front of your car. Yeah, I, 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 I know there's steam coming out. You see, the radiator, you see, this radiator is boiling over. So I arranged to have the flat tire to give the engine a chance to cool off. Steam coming out of the car. Holy mackerel. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You take the jack there. This is the jack. You see this long thing here? That is the jack, and that's to go to the front of the truck. Uh, suppose you bring it there, huh? Okay. Okay. Well, don't you stand there. This is the front of the truck, and that's where the jack goes. Now, will you put it there, huh? That tire looks worse than the one you're going to take off. Do you have any other cheerful observations to make at this time? No. <coughs> mm. Do you always go ahead of the others like this? Yeah, that's part of my job. Hey, you want to play some tic-tac-toe? Hmm? How can we play when you're doing that? And we don't have any pencil and paper. Play it in my head, you see. Right? Yeah, oh, you need a pencil and paper. Okay, I tell you what you... Ah, there's, a, there's a stick over there somewhere. Why don't you get the stick and bring it over in front of the truck here? <coughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay, bring it over here. Front of the truck, we move the move the jack out of the way. There, right? All right, you draw nine squares. You know, like in tic tac toe, you have to have nine places to mark. So we'll have nine squares. Got it? Got it. Square two. Square three. Square four. Square five. Square six. Square seven. <laughs> and I got you. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. Want to go again? You're good. Yeah, you're good. You say that again. I know something else. You're a very sore loser. You know, I like it. Maybe I ought to rent you a room, you know, so I can rest. Well, would you rent a room if I weren't with you? No. Well, then don't do it for me. Just tell me where I can brush my teeth and take my vitamins. that all about? They've got a sign that says, if our service can be improved in any way, to please let us know. So I let them know. <laughs> you know, I just bet you did. <laughs> Hello, 
What's with this poster? I don't know. What's with the poster? What's with this poster? Don't you see the date? The Saturday is crossed out. That's the way it came. In fact, it's that way all over town. Who did it? I did. And there's no way it's going to change. Well, don't hand me a cold deck, Dan Baxter. I want to know what's going on. Lil, we do have city ordinances. Look, we've been playing San Leone 10 years, and nobody ever thought of city ordinances. Now, you knock out Saturday night, and I'll lose my shirt. I am only a public servant. I don't run the city. Congratulations. Well, then who does? Somebody snap the whip Lil, and... Lil, will you keep your voice down, please? Uh, yeah, I'll keep my voice down, and then you, you knock my bookings down the drain. Oh, did any such... Did, did, now, who's pulling your no. strings? Did, did, will you cut that out, Look, please? somebody just stamp whammy right smack in the middle of my pants. Lil... And I want to know who. Come into my office. Now, I didn't say this. Promise, Lil? Promise? You know those grounds you usually play on when you're here? Well, they are owned by the Howe Estate. Yeah, I know that. All right, now, go over to the window. I want to show you something else. Right, right over to the window. Right over here. Look. Right next door. See that building? Yeah. It says Thomas E. Howell Public Library, right? And look across the square. The Howell National Bank. Hmm? Yeah. Right? Yeah, well, I'm beginning to see a pattern. Yes, and it comes up Margaret Howell Grant every time. But what's she got against me? Nothing, Lil. But this Saturday night is the annual barbecue for the Martha Howell Children's Home. And you let her scratch an entire circus for some lousy barbecue? Now, Lil, you're not the only one. She closed down. She closed down the skating rink and the movie theater and cable... And you call this a democracy? Well, you haven't heard the last of this. Yeah, Lil. Lil, will you... Will you save me some time while you're here? Sure. But not Saturday night, if I can help it. Uh, uh, Lil? Well, for crying out loud, a benefit. And the Howells own this place. Dan can't do a thing about it. Well, it does sound like a worthy cause. Oh, come on. I mean, raising money for the children. You know, yeah, I, I just don't believe this. Yeah, well, just she doesn't understand. Honey, honey, it's a question of survival. Not just us. Everybody in the circus. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. We'll come up with something. Well, we better come up with something real fast. Because here they are.
Yeah. Somebody lives in this? Uh, let me give you a little tip, huh? It's very uh, unbecoming for an adolescent to look smug. Here, you want some coffee? Out of that? Yeah, out of that. It doesn't look like it's been washed in ages. It hasn't. Is that my grandfather? Where? No, oh, no, not likely. Your grandfather? Tell me you've never heard of the late, great Garrett A. Hobart? No. Who is he? Oh, no, I'll tell you. You see, some people celebrate Lincoln's birthday, or maybe Washington's birthday, but uh, June the 3rd is the red-letter day on my calendar. His birthday? That's right. I see you collect junk. What do you mean, junk? Don't you know a museum when you see one? What kind of museum? What kind of museum? All right, well, I'll tell you. <clears throat> now, to qualify for my museum of memorabilia, everything has to be 100% uh, useless. For example, uh, 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 a pair of sunglasses. You see, these are sunglasses. They're so dark you can't see through them. And um, a clock with no hour hand. And a candle with, uh, yeah, no wick. No, no wick. See, that, uh, that qualifies. Mm. No home should be without one. No, I was hoping you'd say that. Come on, let's get to work. Oh. All right, what happened? What do you watch it? I said, what happened? Sheba. Yeah? I'm not jealous she is. You better believe it. Delilah kissed me. Sheba bit me. Oh, man, that's all we need. What do you got a license for your fingernails? Let me see. I take it this charming young lady is your daughter. Yeah, Jody? Yeah. Jody, this is uh, Woody. He's in charge of all transportation. All right. Oh, and he is also our trombonist. Extraordinary. Right on. And I am Capitan Franz von Richter. Honored. Formerly known as Delbert Clyde Butts of Winoko, Oklahoma. Let's go, glad to meet you. Nice to meet you, okay, Mr. Butts. Okay, playboy of the Western world. Sit down, we're not finished. <laughs> hey, Punch. Yeah? Do you think Lil can talk him into letting us play Saturday night? Listen, you know as much about it as I do. Besides, I don't have a crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> you know that butts? He's really something. I like him. I really do. You certainly have a lot of intrigue going on around here. Just like any other red-blooded, broken-down American circus. Mrs. Butts catching the captain with this girl, Delilah? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's, you got uh, yeah, but just for the record, honey, Sheep is not his wife, but a 450-pound tiger. And Delilah's a lioness who's... Uh, she's kind of getting on in years. Oh. You know? Come on, I got a job for you. A job? Mm -hmm. What kind of job? Yeah, what kind of job? <laughs> Jody, this is Ben, our chef. We threw dice, I lost. Hi. Hi. Rice? That's my specialty. Rice and. Rice and what? Anything we can afford. Today, rice and carrots. Tomorrow, rice and rice. Punch, how about uh, letting Aurora give me a hand? I really got my hands full here. Congratulations. You've just been made his assistant. You cook? No. See, she can't cook. Neither can Aurora. Punch, don't I have the right... Oh, and listen, in about two hours, there's going to be a lot of hungry people here to be fed. 
So, uh, you get cracking, huh? Both of you. Nah, come on, kid. Let's start at the beginning. This is an apron. Hiya, Dan. Bunch. How you doing there, boy? <laughs> fine, fine. Well, uh, how's the world of civic corruption? My golf game has never been better. I haven't played any gin lately. Not since you cleaned me out the last time through here. <laughs> Unlucky in cards and love. No, I wouldn't say that. I, I uh, hope you're here under a uh, flag of truce. Punch. Uh, you know I'm on your side, but my hands were tied in this. You just don't know Margaret Howell Grant. But I mean, don't provoke. She's that tough, huh? You know how I feel about Lil. Do you think I would do anything in the world to upset that relationship? Yeah. Now you have a chance to mend your fences. Hey, hold it, will ya? Hey, come on, cool it, cool it, cool it. All right, are we gonna have a Saturday night? Are you ready? Waterloo, Little Bighorn, and the Martha Howell Children's Home. Oh, lucky us, huh? Margaret is a very dedicated woman. Oh, that she yeah, is. Yeah, with the warmth of a computer and the delicacy of a Sherman tank. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? Do we go into Riverside? With no advance? Man, we wouldn't draw flies. <laughs> Fits in with the rest of the season. Energy crisis, cloudburst, tornadoes. All right, where do I find this... this dragon lady? At the Martha Howell Children's Home. But punch, it won't help. Hey, honey, could you tell me where Mrs. Grant is? This is Margaret Howell Grant. Offhand, I'd say circus. Yeah. Well, offhand, uh, I'd say you're right. But uh, I do have a... Miss Grant, I do have a name. And I thought we might sort of kind of make a compromise. It's Punch Travers. I am Mrs. Grant, and the answer is still no. Well, do you want me to go out and come back again? I'd save myself the trouble. I've heard it all. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you have, yeah. Don't take out more than you need, Victoria. This uh, home happens to be very important to me. We provide daycare for over 100 children of working mothers. Our endowment fund covers 63.4% of our expenses. Special gifts cover another 21%. The remainder is the barbecue. So goodbye, Mr. Travis. Hey, you're really something. <laughs> I'm also immune to soft soap. Goodbye again. Yeah, you know, and I bet you have... Everything right down at the edge of your fingertips, huh? The cost per day per child, and the uh, cost per day for all this equipment around here, and everything, right? You in the habit of making snap judgments? Well, I sure do. Yep, I got that habit. And you know, I bet you don't know anything about any of these children right here, right? David, come on, what's your name? David, huh? you know the name. I, you Sure, you know the name. But as far as what goes on in this fellow's head here, you know, what makes him tick, what makes him run, why maybe some of these children stay up at night, why they cry, no way, no way at all. I keep forgetting that the uh, circus is our culture's last vestige of sentimentality. Oh, you're against any emotional display of any kind, is that it, huh? If I uh, were, would I be spending my life on causes like this home? That's the point, you see. You're so wrapped up in causes, you don't know how to get close to people, don't you see? That's a presumptuous thing for you to say. Why? Because it's true? I have a very low boiling point, Mr. Travers. Don't push me too far. Well, that's a good sign. That means you're alive. Will you please go? Ms. Grant. Look, let's, please, let's just forget the circus. Huh? And, and, and you try to feel... I know it may hurt a little at first, but... Uh, you're no good to anybody, the way you are, that's for sure. Ow! 
I've been working all day on this small surprise for my father. Well, it's, uh... Well, it's beautiful. I've, uh, just never seen it so clean before. What hit you? My own standards of cleanliness, Mrs. Torney. Call me Lil. Or if you want to be real gross point, Lillian. I'll stick with Lil like my father. Has he been with you long? Ten years come July, right after Charlie took his last bow. Now, that was Chuck, my husband. Well, what was my father doing before that? Kid, you see this outfit? It was maybe twice the size. And I needed somebody to ramrod it. In case like that, you don't run an FBI check. How'd you make out? Meet the son of General Custer. Uh oh. Punch. What? Before you go in there, remember she's your daughter. Yes, I, I know. You know. A helpless child, you know. Oh, come on, Bill. We just stop playing games, huh? You are surprised. Lil, look at his face. I'm looking. Everything has been straightened up, cleaned up. Oh, no. My coffee pot. <laughs> yeah, was that a job? I don't think it had been scrubbed in years. Eight years. Well, you have to say something. Punch. It's very, very nice. Well, Chicky. Punch, yeah. punch. Here you go, Punch. Yeah. Danish? You know something, Lil? That Danish is going to kill you one of these days. Danish? Me? I'm on a strict diet. Yeah, sure. Sure you are. <laughs> lovely day, huh? Yeah. It's a lovely day to go broke in. I'll, uh, that's your nickel. Come on, get your gear. Plates, clubs, the works? Yeah, the works. Okay. Hey, come on, Aurora. Let's get in costume. Stills? Come on, you and your wife. Come on, we can use you. Let's go. The whole thing. Come on, let's go. To the truck. Come on, let's go. Hey, Pop! Yeah. What about me? The egg suit. You got it. Come on, here we go. Honey, please, listen, I got a lot to do. Why don't you go in and get some breakfast, huh? Right in there, huh? Okay? And if we have problems. Punch. Well, here. That's your daughter. Yeah, I know. Listen, it's your circus I'm trying to save, and I don't need any lectures right now, that's for sure. Well, the least you could do is ask your daughter to go along. Look, I don't need a daughter for this gig. I need animal trainers. I need clowns. I need acrobats. I need... You know, I didn't send for her. It wasn't my idea. What difference whose idea it was? Give her a break. We're not running a summer camp here, Lil. Now, we got problems. Well, the circus is my problem. She's yours. Yeah, for five more days. Period. Come on, let's move with you guys. Come on. Come on, move all of you. Come on, come on. Hey, what about makeup? We'll do that on the way. Come on. Hold on now. Here we go. Over there. Oh. Mayday, Aurora. Get out there with stilts. Move, 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 move. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, there. Hi, there, kids. Hi, there. Uh, go, 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 hey. go, 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 go,
You know what I bet this lady's going to say? She's going to say that we don't have any permit and we're on private property, right? Oh, don't stop there. Why don't you tell me how marvelous you thought it would be for these poor, underprivileged children to be exposed to something as exciting and thrilling as a circus. That was your motivation, wasn't it? No, not really. <laughs> Thank you. I was just trying to make some points, that's all. Not with you, Godzilla. Certainly not on an emotional level. According to you, that would be a waste of time. Well, I tell you what, let's just say that this performance is in sort of a, what do we tell her? It's a, kind of a, an apology, kind of, you know? I mean, people apologize. That doesn't come easily to you. No, it doesn't. Where did it go? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, I guess you have a full day planned, huh? Making last-minute arrangements for the barbecue, huh? As a matter of fact, we do have a carefully planned routine. Routines are made to be broken. Like how? Like lunch. I don't see what that could accomplish. Well, I didn't say anything about accomplishing anything. That's not what I want to do. Come off it, Mr. Travers. We both know why you're here. And if you think you can solve your circus problems with the price of a, a frozen custard and a hot dog, you're mistaken. No, wait a minute. You got it backward. You see, I thought that we were here perhaps to solve some of your problems. Oh! How about that little girl? Something else. Do the seat solo show. Hey, that's oh, 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 hey, that oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, hey, Woody. Hey, Woody. Yeah. It's something else, isn't it? You better sign her up quick. Yeah, hey. I'll punch you, be happy. To the elephants. You can make quite an act. Come on, she ought to be there. Yodi. That's good, Jerry. Yeah, you got a good day, Yodi. How long have you been here? Hey, Miss. If you're looking for Mr. Travis, he isn't here. Did you cut the comedy, Lil? Blow, Barbara. We've got enough trouble without you. Why don't you just take care of your little circus, and I'll take care of Punch. See, he asked me to come by this afternoon, so I'm... Yeah, well, that's before he got busy. Well, he's never been too busy for me. A friend of my father's? Well, he might put it that way. Looks like she's planning to spend the day. At the weekend's more like it. I think you're in the wrong trailer. Oh, no. My daddy Punch is making a home for us here now. Us? Me and the twins, and George and Martha. George and Martha. They're younger than I am. Oh. They're almost housebroken, if you know what I mean. Swell. Swell. I know. You're the lady that's going to help him take care of us. No. 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 Wrong lady. No, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm in the wrong place. I am. Believe me. Hey, Barbara. Hey. I almost forgot you were coming by. Yeah, that's not all you forgot. Yeah? You never mentioned your Instant Father of the Year award. What did you say to Barbara? What? I said, what did you say to Barbara? Oh, she must have been delighted and left so quickly. Yes, that's the one. What? I said, that's the one. Oh, she doesn't seem like any great loss to me. <clears throat> well, that's my business, isn't it? What? I said, that's my business. I right, now, do me a favor, will you? For the next few days, while we're sort of stuck with each other, will you stay off my side? Oh, boy.
Lil, will you at least think it over? Look, you have earned the right to some peace of mind. You don't need all this insecurity. Please, Dan, don't ask me to think when I'm on the edge of financial disaster. That's just what I'm talking about. Oh, boy. 79 customers, I need 150 to break even. Will you think it over? Oh, what? Oh, oh, sure, Dan. Absolutely. Okay, bye. Morning, friends. Hey, morning, Punch. Uh, it won't be if you turn your back on that cat. Don't you worry about her. She just wants a little affection. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. Don't you, sweetheart. You just want a little affection. Don't you? You just want her. I mean, I need a cup of coffee, man, that's for sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about one for me? Why not? Here you are, honey. Mm. I broke up the circus. Maybe you'd settle down, make a different sort of life for you and Joe. Hold it now, just hold it a little. If you want to sell out, you know, sell the circus and become Mrs. Dan Baxter, that's fine. But don't con yourself into thinking it's for me or Jody. Just don't do that, because that... Might be better for everybody. Do you know what? I'm tired. <laughs> so am I. I'm just plain tired of struggling. You don't need that. And you know something? I don't believe you. Well, I am. No, I don't believe you. No, I am. I'm tired of driving around in a white chariot and leading a caravan of old junk and new paint, when the truth is we can't even afford the gas. Hey, you know something? Maybe you're uh, just tired of circuses. Did you ever think of that? I've been in it in half my life. It's not going to get any better. Any damn fool knows that. Well, some of my best friends are damn fools. <laughs> in fact, uh, most of them. Oh, aren't you going to take the orange one? Chocolate's more fattening. You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know. What? It'd be an easy life with Dan Baxter. Not like it was with Johnny. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if all that heavy breathing they call love isn't highly overrated. <laughs> See, Punch. What? what would you do if I quit, sold out? Well, suppose you asked me that when it happened. But one thing's for certain. I won't settle down. Uh-oh. If that's who I think it is, don't hit her where she sits down. Something as the first time I've heard a Bach cantata on a on a steam fiddle. <laughs> oh, come on, don't stop. Keep going. That's good. Uh, 
Let's hit the cook tin. Punch? Yeah? I'm sorry for washing your coffee pot. Oh, that's all right. Another eight years, it'll be just as good as ever. Well, I have to take your word for it, so I won't be around after this week, I guess. No, I guess you won't. Mr. Travis. Right over there. Oh, thank you. Mr. Travers? Hi. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I... This is Punch's trailer, and you're? Margaret Grant. Margaret Hal Grant? Please come in. My father's been expecting you. Oh, has he? Well, sort of, but uh, come on in anyway. No, 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 really. It's quite unimportant. I, I... Oh, nothing that has to do with the circus is unimportant. And as far as the social life goes, this is a very liberal family. I, I haven't the slightest idea what you mean. The, the fact is that uh, your, your father has been after us to change the date of our barbecue, and I, 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 I came here to tell him that it was quite impossible. Well, make yourself comfortable, and you can tell him yourself. He's, um... He's on the ground somewhere. Oh, no, thank you, really. I, I must... Seriously, Mrs. Grant, I was just leaving. I mean, the last thing I want to do is be in the way. There's all kinds of things here I could be offering you. I know where he keeps his liquor, even though I'm not supposed to. I'm sorry I don't have any ice cubes, but uh, I know something that you'll like. There's a neat little transistor radio right over here by the bed. Or maybe you'd like to take a shower first. Hey, Mrs. Grant! Hold it. Just hold it. Jody, huh? She threw you out? Quite the contrary. She almost tied me to the bed. You're kidding. No, I'm not. She knew all the tricks. She offered me drinks, soft music. She even threw in a few fresh towels. Yeah. You know, I don't believe her. I've never been so revolted in my life, using a child as a procurer. And after all those high-flown phrases about honest emotion. Well, well, that, that's progress. It shows at least you can... you can feel something. How can you be so low, Mr. Travis? Lots of time. Lots Square five. Square nine. Square three. Square seven. Square eight. Two. That's a draw. Yeah, that's not bad. Square one. All right, uh, square five. Square two. Square three. Square seven. Square nine. Square six. Square... Oh, that's another draw. Hey, you've been practicing, Jody. All right. <clears throat> All right. Square three. I said three. Oh, 
What's wrong? All that makeup. You look like a different person. Well, that's the whole point. They let me see Mother once after. And she looked like a different person, too. Oh, come on, Jody. Why did it have to happen? Come on. Now. <laughs> Easier to talk to you like this. Well, is it? No. What's that? A birthday present. Birthday present? Who for? N.B. Charles. Who? N.B. what? Tell me you never heard of him. No, I, I, I never heard of N.B. Charles. But if it's N.B. Charles's birthday, what are you, uh, I mean, you're giving it to me? Why? Because on M.B. Charles' birthday, he gives people presents whose birthdays you've missed. And I've missed all of yours. You're not going to tell me who N.B. Charles is. When you tell me who Garrett A. Hobart is, it's for your museum. I see what you have here. Oh, it's a horseshoe. No. Uh, it sure looks like a horseshoe. A horseshoe wouldn't qualify. It would be useful and maybe valuable. Well, what is it? Try a unicorn shoe. Okay, it's a unicorn shoe. Right. <laughs> so what you have there is a completely non-utilitarian addition for your museum. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> Hello. Oh, just a minute. Dodge. <laughs> Telephone, long distance. Okay. Hey, you know, this is a unicorn shoe. <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> hey, ten minutes. Come on, keep going, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Peter, I refuse to let you play games where that child's future is at stake. Jen, I don't even know what you're talking about. You couldn't just give her a few happy days. You had to prove the old Travers charm. Encouraging her to think that she can depend on you. Promising her the moon. The only promise I made was to look after her until Sunday. You told her that it was permanent, that you'd take it to court if you had to. Ah, I see. Well, I gather that's a direct quote from Jody. Well, of course. It was in a telegram. Relax, Jen. I'm sending the kid home on Sunday as promised. I'll let you know which flight. Maybe we could talk it over. No chance. It won't work. You have your life. Your, your mother laid it out for you. I mean, around here, you'll just get confused. You'll start thinking that a pony's shoe is meant for a unicorn. No, Sunday, you go home where you belong. Forget Sunday. There's a bus out of here Saturday and I'll be on it. Hey. You gonna say goodnight? <laughs> How you doing, sweetheart? Hey, man, you better get some sleep. You hear me? You. <laughs> no. I know, I know. I didn't forget about you. Up. There you go. Oh, yeah. Don't drop it. You got it? I missed the performance. Oh, uh, we were hoping to give a... Will you behave yourself? We were hoping to give another one uh, tomorrow night. Yes, I know. I behaved badly this afternoon. Well, at least you were... Uh, checking out another, you know, emotion. None of the right ones. <laughs> well, who said it was going to be easy? Huh? But at least you're beginning to feel, you know, and that's something. And differently, since your daughter called me. 
Jody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she actually called me to apologize for degrading me. Can you believe it? It helped me get things into focus. When I think of the way I reacted in the trailer, so sanctimoniously, I actually saw myself being cheapened, used. You didn't fool me at all. I knew you were in the morale building business. So what, huh? <laughs> I don't know how to take you. No, it's not how you take me. It's how you take yourself. I got walked out on one side. I'm still scared. I suppose. I'll never know what would have happened if Jody hadn't been there. I'll give you three guesses. I don't need three guesses. lady came through. Hallelujah. Rice and ketchup? Rice and ketchup. You're kidding. Hodge. What? What about Jody? Uh, come on. You can't send the kid back. I'm, I'm sending her back where she belongs. No. Yeah, but she's had a taste of something else. My sawdust? All right, how does that stack up against, say, private schools and money? And words like, uh, bovine. Mm-hmm. What about love? Oh, come on. We're a couple of grifters. We, we sell the illusions. Punch, she needs your love. Yeah, that's a highly overrated commodity. You said that yourself. Since when do you listen to me? Hurry, hurry, step right up here. Both in the barbecue. Don't forget your benefits. Stop by you two tickets for the price of one.
Goodbye, Punch. I'll see you next season. Judging by the look on Dan's face, I guess the marriage is off, huh? Well, to tell the truth, it would be convenient if I loved the guy. Mm. Unfortunately, I like him too much to shortchange him. Yeah. Seen Jody? No. Well? But I'm not surprised. Why? She said something to me about taking the 11.45 bus. Cage over here. Come on, get it down, all of you. the gun. Please. Tell him get the gun. No, no, please. Yes, no, just hold it. Right now. Come on. Let's just simmer down. Shima. Tom, tell you what you do. Get that old blanket from Delilah's cage. She gets turned on by Delilah's scent. Come on, let's move. move. Listen to me, Delbert Clyde Butts. The next time you pull a stunt like that, be sure that we have a paying audience. Huh? You know what? The well, Joe. Lie in the cage. Jody. Sorry, lady, this bus only goes to the Civic Center. The Los Angeles ad is.
Good evening. Good evening. Which plane are you putting me on tomorrow? Well, uh, you see, your Aunt Jen wouldn't like you, it wouldn't be safe for you to fly in this, this kind of weather. So I've decided that I think you should stay for a while. Whatever you think is best, Father. Yes, I, I do think it's best. Uh, I mean, for a while. Okay. Yeah. Besides, you cheated. I never cheated in my whole life. Nobody has ever beat me in tic-tac-toe without cheating. I could do it again. Will you prove it? Square five. All right. Square eight. You sure you don't want a pencil and paper? Square one. No. No. Yes. No. Ha, 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 ha. You're not the only one who knows conversational French. Oh, so we're putting on ears. That's no way to speak to your father. Get it. I'll give you one more chance, but no French. Straight, straight. 